Not very well. I don't know it. I don't practice it. It's a new technology that allows very precise recombination, which is to say insertion of new genetic material in place of existing uh, genetic material, and it makes it kind of child's play. It used to be really hard, and now by use of these sequences that are found in some uh, prokaryotic uh, uh, bug uh, 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 microbial systems, you're able to circumvent a lot of the old kind of more kludgy stuff and just make genetic swaps wherever you want. And that's complemented by the fact that you can, I mean, I could, I could write out a new gene that I want right now on my computer and send it off to a shop in the U.S. or China, and they would send me back a package with that gene synthesized. It's that trivial. And this is a technology oh that gosh. now allows you to take that and drop it into, you know, your favorite genome. It's not, it's not yet um, uh, so efficient that the, the problem with all of this for humans, for big, you know, animals, to get it into all of your cells, we're not there yet. We're a long, long way from that. But to do it in one cell like, like, or modify a virus or modify a bacteria – um, that's now trivial. And wow. That, that, that argument, you know, we can't, it, it changes everything because you can't track stuff in the same way. Um, and it becomes uh, pretty easy to do stuff. So that's, that's a little spooky, right? Yeah, we are, we're, we're entering a whole new world, 